Okay, everybody, third day of uh, well. Uh, today they developed the well. That means they're going to force a bunch of high pressure air down into the well, force up any of the stuff that's, uh, you know, lingering in there, force it up out of the hole. And then that also sort of puts pressure on the rocks, uh, which loosens the uh, mud, uh, residual drilling mud and things like that that are in there, allows the water uh, in the strata to flow a little bit more freely and begin to fill the well properly. It uh, makes all the difference when you're drilling a well to have that high pressure in there, uh, you know, sort of breaking things up and, and getting it flowing. So that's what they're gonna do today, but they're gonna start off moving this equipment and then uh, you can see the shafts behind me and all this building material. We've got to get this building material out of the way because they're going to run a water line from the wellhead right over here to, the, to this uh, rear corner of the shaft where we're going to put a pressure tank inside and uh, so we can have water supply to the shafts. We can have running water inside the shafts. Ha ha. That'd be great. So uh, that's what's on the agenda today. We're just going to start clearing out this area so they can trench and uh, then we'll show you how they develop the well. Oh, look here. We found the bull snake. He was underneath some of the uh, trim stuff, the boards. Uh, he's not doing his job very well because we have so many mice. But I'm going to put him back under the house so maybe he'll figure out what to do and eat them up. But you got to give him a name first. What's his name? Um, We've already, when we were clearing the land there for that shed, shouse we call it, um, <laughs> we found a uh, uh, coach whip snake uh, like a garter snake okay and uh so we found this guy you found him several he, weeks ago yeah he was just sliding around he was hanging around. out under the house but we never caught him we caught him today when we were cleaning up the wood pile over there so <laughs> he's not doing his job though we Get have a lot mice. of mice we got plenty of mice he's not doing his of course he might be a little too small for that yeah maybe do your job, buddy. Start uh, get to, start, at least start getting the babies or small ones, okay? <laughs> Go under the shouse, okay? See you later. And off he goes. <laughs> but start doing your job, Chino. Chino? You're naming him Chino. That's what you named him. Cheech. Cheech? Cheech. Let's do Cheech. Cheech. All right, Cheech. Cheech. We asked the um, <clears throat> well drillers if they wouldn't mind going down the hill a little ways and digging us four holes. These are for the soils engineer, so can help determine uh, our septic system. We'll let the uh, engineer make his suggestion about where he wants a septic system. But it was very nice of the well driller, here's Hank Drilling, to drill these for us while they're out here. They're doing these uh, four holes free of charge. So we really appreciate that. Good people here at Hearsink. Um, this guy, Scott Hearsink, has got quite a reputation here in the valley for uh, giving really good service and uh, doing his best to accommodate people. So, And covering over the mud pit. bad I can't use it for the adobe <laughs> how much pressure do you how much air pressure do you send down that that stem that well stem uh, casing like 120 psi that's it yeah. that's all it takes mm -hmm. and so that air pressure just goes out through those perforations at the bottom not, and just sort of not really it it more goes straight up it's like blowing a straw into a cup you know? oh okay so, so it's coming up around the yeah the annulus like we won't yeah. even be down we'll be blowing it from 60 feet uh-huh and so what will be happening is it'll be lifting all the heavy mud off okay and the water will be flowing in from the perforations and kind of pushing the water up and then we'll be blowing that out and so it'll that's how it kind of cleans itself out i see so the idea is you push the mud up the casing 
and then the fresh water seeps in through the perforations. Exactly right. You push some more fresh water up or whatever you see. Is there a certain color you're looking for? Or? Clear. Yeah, until it's absolutely clear. Yeah. Okay. Not absolutely. With with airlifting, you can, like the best I've seen is like 98%. You know what I mean? Like you, airlifting, I don't think you'll ever get like bottled water clear. Yeah. Um, so once we, after we airlift it, we put your pump in. We always instruct people to be prepared, like if they're running off of a generator, to fire that pump up and just let it run off somewhere until a while, it, yeah, until it's drinking water clean. Right. You know? Okay, <clears throat> so they got a couple extra feet of pipe they've got to weld on top of this casing. This is what they're going to do now. Look at this nice hydrant. Well, it's good to know that the freeze mark, uh, the frost line is only three feet. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there, you know, there are places where there's so many rocks that you can't trust that five feet's even deep enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, out here in the sand or in the clay, something that's packed together nice and tight. Ditch collapsed. water line and control wire for the uh, pump controller or the, the pressure switch for the pump. Okay, I think he's getting ready to stick this uh, piece down in the well so he can start developing it. Some footage of that. This driller recommends that uh, you know you install a hydrant right, um, right away on the uh, casing, and that's helpful when they first um, begin to turn on the pump, so that any garbage that comes up that bubbles up will bubble up through the hydrant instead of through the water lines and the pump and and into the tanks and you know stuff like that. Keeps things cleaner. It's not a bad idea. Oh there goes the air. 
How far back are we supposed to stand, Lawrence? Right next to it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Time to stand back, he said. What will it do? Stuff will start flying out of it. it will? Yeah, it's going to clean it out. But what if it's blocked? Here it goes. It's blocked. Nothing's flying out. There it goes. Whee! All that mud. I see the steam, the vapor. <laughs> I love it. It's old faithful. <laughs> well, there goes the crew. <laughs> They've been here all day. So let's run all night and do this kind of thing, just sort of pushing up water. Um, it's behaving the way they want it to. It's developing the way they want it to. When they said developing a well, I thought maybe it would only take, you know, like an hour or something like that to get out. But no, apparently it takes quite a while. Um, so there it is. Okay, so we're looking at day two of uh, well development. It's been a long weekend, so guys didn't come back. A uh, well's been sitting for a few days, but so far the only thing that's really come out of it is some mud. Uh, they are adding more length to the um air pipe that goes down into the hole uh in an effort to get that mud and water flowing better get better development out of the well hi marley and uh then uh so hopefully we'll see some clear water coming out of it today sometimes well development takes a little while yes yeah, so i was asking ryan he said when they pulled that pipe up that they found mostly drilling mud and uh so it definitely requires more development we'll see how it goes they're gonna right uh, they dropped this line to 110 feet which is 10 feet above the bottom and uh so we'll see what we get Okay, so that's been running for about, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes. And uh, things are starting to clear up a little bit. The, the mud is getting thinner, more water, uh, lighter color. You know, it's getting there. Things are starting to wash out. Driller was telling me that based upon this kind of production coming out of here during development, he's guessing so far it's about uh, seven gallons per minute. It's about what he sees with about seven gallons per minute, so. We'll take seven gallons per minute. We can live with three, in fact. They're watering down our driveway for us. <laughs> Keep some of the, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Keep some of the dust down. And they usually, he said they usually just dump that water out on the road as they're driving away anyway. And uh, the bottom of their tank's a little dirty, so it works out for them to, to get it cleaned out. Okay, it's been uh, developing again for about an hour. And as you can see, the water's getting clearer, less mud in it. So that's a good sign. We're washing it out really well. And it appears to be giving us a little bit more production too. That's pretty good production. Look at all the water running down. The air is under high enough pressure that it causes the water and forces the water up out of the top in spurts like that. And with the rising and falling of the water, it just sort of cleanses the well. It washes out all the loose mud and sand and stuff like that until the water runs mostly clear. Good day though, huh? Well day. It's a well day.